Boom. This is the Metador Seg 28. And to be honest, I've not seen any other bag that even comes close to the organization style of this bag. And it is now the only way I want to travel because of the fantastic organization that they put into this bag. I just love it. Um, not only am I going to tell you all about the Seg 28 today, but I'm going to tell you about the pro level accessories that you need to get to make this probably the only bag you need for single bag travel. And I don't say that lightly. All right, so yeah, here it is, the Seg 28 from Matador. Big thanks to them for sending this out to me to test and review. Had this over the weekend, packed out just like this. Of course, I took out the stinky stuff, put in fresh things to show you. But we're gonna look at everything that is and makes this Matador my, right now, favorite bag for travel if it's just me on the weekend. This bag has a lot going for it from the outside features and the inside. It's got all day comfort with this harness system, nicely padded. You know, I didn't have the original version of this, which was actually 30 liters. This is 28, but this one is really, really comfortable. Rivals anything that I have from the GORUCK category in a 26 liter GR2 would be about the only thing that would come close to this in terms of functionality, but this has got way more. And so, uh, but the harness system is very cool. Excellent, excellent bag, very comfortable. They've got some straps in here. It looks like they might be low lifters, but they're not, they're not attached. Sternum strap, awesome and adjustable. Move it up and down, that's cool. Uh, no strap keepers, only negative. Back panel, very, very cool with a luggage pass-through. I know I'm going out of order. Usually I talk about the pockets before I go to the back panel, but the back panel is so comfortable that I just wanted to put this out there first. Uh, nice design and it's very smooth on your back. Very nice. And there's a Velcro secured luggage pass-through. So you can put it over the top of your bag if that's the way you rolled. I don't if I'm going for leisure travel. Now the other thing that's awesome and I didn't want to forget about it, sort of reason why we're talking about this first, is there is a little tiny zippered secured pocket hidden behind the Velcro, perfect for a passport or something else very small, maybe some extra cash, because once it's zipped and this Velcro's down, totally secure. There's a lot of other security features in this bag which are very awesome, haven't seen anywhere else either. So anyway, 28 liters, SEG 28, SEG mented, one, two, three, four, front zipper compartments can get a little wonky but once you adopt a style of just packing things in these areas is awesome and the internal dividers between these segments actually kind of push up and down they're not just rigidly attached to these segments so that you can overpack one and it just kind of the volume sort of shifts back and forth. They all sort of share the internal volume. So it just works out really well because you can overpack some um, and underpack others and it just, it all shares that internal volume, which I think is fantastic. So before we get into the inside, and this is really where a lot of the pro genius comes in, we'll talk about those pockets. Now, the back has two top pockets. Ta -da. And now the both, everything's aqua guard on here, which is also very cool. It's a 420 D everywhere. The bottom is a 420 rip stop. Um, again, this is where you're gonna be dropping this thing. So you'd like this thing to be a little more rip stop. The rest is a very smooth, very durable and all waterproof coated 420. Now the top pockets access is really nice. You've got two in the back one is in the laptop area which there's not a lot of rigidity to this bag that's maybe it's only negative but it's very comfortable packable malleable i guess without that but it does the pocket hold the laptop of choice this is a 13 inch macbook in here today the 14 inch fits nearly identically uh aqua guard zipper and then the other top pocket that we have here is got a lot of um, room. It's not total depth of the other pocket, but it's really great. And normally I would bring my iPad mini in there and that's what I had over the weekend. 
for part of it, but then I ended up putting that somewhere else because what I was going after a lot of the time was pretty much my GoPro a lot. So I used a GoPro. In fact, I just went to the DJI Action 3 lately, but I recently got from Telesend these little battery charger compartments. So like the DJI Action 3, Telesend makes one for the GoPro batteries. They also make their own stamina batteries. So I've just got a lot of Telesend GoPro accessories lately that uh, I really do love. It sort of brought me back into the GoPro fold because just so useful. Oh yeah, they make this other battery bank that also charges your GoPro battery. So because I've been in GoPro for so long, I have so many of the batteries. Now I can charge all the batteries on the go uh, or and carry them. So it's this pocket is perfect for all those accessories. Now there's two different areas. There is the main compartment and then there's a zipper compartment in the back, which also gives you room uh, for additional and it's uh, organized with a little loop in there. So you can put a pocket knife unless you're going to the airport. Don't take a pocket knife. Uh, this is so some other stuff in here. So I got another. This is a phone charger. Uh, you know, just anything that you want to keep separated from your iPad, if that's what you were going to put in there, which is super cool. So yeah, so I love the top pocket organization. I love the fact that my laptop is accessible from the outside. And then before we dive into the main area and talking about the utilization of that, we've got a bottle pocket on the side, which is a this stretchy material, a little loop on the outside to pull it apart. Uh, so it, it's really the perfect size for my standard Yeti without putting too much stress in that pocket. It's just stretchy material. It cinches in when not in use. The other thing I typically talk about, especially when we have compression straps, more about that in a second. The compression straps are awesome and this pocket is great, but it doesn't go full depth of the bag. It stops basically where the rip stop begins. So you really can't put this Peak Design tripod in here without sticking it above the top of the bag. So if you're not concerned about that and that's where you want to go, you can use these compression straps, um, expand those, put this in here and cinch it in. So it is secured, but you just got to realize you're, you know, sticking out about the top of the bag. So, but if that's not a concern for you, don't worry about it. Take your Peak Design tripod. The compression straps are on both sides and they're different than any others I've seen. They've got this sort of V configuration. So you've got both, you know, they just V, they just more adequately compress because they're not single point. There's just double to V uh, on, on both sides. You got these massive buckles, uh, four of them, obviously, and all the compression strap attachments, and which is also provides a little loop, which is just really easy to, to just grab on the go and really cinch down your load depend as it changes throughout your little trip. So I really like the compression. I like the outside pockets. Handles, cool. We've got really one on the back, one on the front. We've got one on the bottom back, and then we got one on the side. So you really have multiple ways to grab this sucker out of the overhead bin, out of the back of your truck, wherever you're going. Just lots of handles and all sorts of right places to grab this thing. So that's it. Again, rip stop on the bottom. Little tabs everywhere to maybe attach something across the top. So you could do that. I hadn't thought about that. That'd be something, just little, you know, little details that the good companies put in their bag. Now let's talk about zippers. AquaGuard everywhere. And, you know, if this was your travel bag, wouldn't you like to be a little more secure? They got you covered. Matador put these little loops, which serve two purposes in my opinion. A, they give you a little anchor point as you're zipping it. You could also put the little pull through the anchor point. And now it's sort of on the go. It's sort of pickpocket proof. No one's going to be able to rip into that same thing really quickly without kind of messing around with it to get this zipper back through, which is not, uh, you know, <laughs> as easy to do as it looks, but there you go. So anyway, extra security on all these zippers, which I do like, and it is super, super cool. 
All right, these little labels. You got labels everywhere. And they tell you how many liters you could fit in here, basically. So, so we have segment zero, the whole thing here says 28 liters, segment one, four, segment two is eight, segment three is, uh, I'm sorry, six, then eight, and then segment four, it's got 10 liters capacity. So that's how the volume is distributed. Um, that's cool. This main compartment also opens. So before we get into this segmented section of this, let's dive into the main event, show you how this thing is kind of all put together. It'll make more sense as we talk through these parts. Now this whole thing opens up to reveal not only all of the dimension that you have for those front pockets, but you have this internal area, which is again, useful for maybe the stinky stuff. After you worn it, you could use this as sort of the laundry bag, but it's also big enough for shoes in there. And they got some other features on the inside this we'll uh, talk about right now. Now this top area, or actually these, the, the outside of the bag, which you're seeing here, got some handles, nice. Um, but there's also a little tab here, a little hook here. So if you didn't have this thing packed out, you can totally bunch it in and then put some other stuff in here. For instance, I have the shoes in the main compartment and then I've got the bottom cinched in a little bit to, to kind of remove some of that volume to make room for the shoes. So that's there's a ability to cinch in the top and the bottom of the bag if you wanted to put bigger bulky items on the inside. What do I have in here? Well, I just got room for a hoodie and then I have an extra pair of shoes, running shoes. So that's it. There's no other way, of course, you're looking at the pocket dimensions in here, but that's pretty much it on the inside. Uh, again, I've got just those two things. And then when I was on the trip on the weekend, I actually used the bottom pocket for dirty laundry, but if I had bigger things, um, I could have put them in here. Uh, just because this is completely waterproofed on the inside, it's a 100 rip stop, mini rip stop, micro rip stop on the inside. And so it's gonna kind of keep things from seeping into the other part of the bag because it's that waterproof coating. So that's it. That's the internal design. Now, that's bigger bulky items, that's shoes, it's maybe your dirty laundry, but on the go, I'm not even looking at that section because I'm living out of these sections right here. And here's some pro tips in here. I'll show you what I've packed in there. Spoiler alert, it's a GORUCK Field Pocket GR1 size, and it's the small Peak Design Packing Cubes. You'll see those in a second. So what do I have in here? Top section, again, two liters-ish. This is where I have the GR1 Field Pocket. Fits perfectly in there. It's as if it was designed, or this was designed for this. Either way, this is my DOP kit, but this fits perfectly in there, just lovely and i'm just way happy with that the next one down again four liters capacity but this is where i put a peak design small packing cube that's it that was all in there and it fits perfectly totally packed out with all my clothes for a weekend because you know t-shirts underwear socks really not anything big uh, that i'm gonna put in there and it just fits perfectly in the section number two section number three is where you know gotta be prepared for anything. It's summertime, but it might not be warm the whole time. So we put rolled up pair of jeans in this next section and the Evergoods Cap One. This is the charging stuff that I take everywhere with me. You can charge the iPhone, um, iPads, uh, laptop, everything is in there. Just fits nicely together, one, two combo. Bottom section, rip stop, awesome, is just some workout clothes. So some shorts, some socks. Uh, and again, because it is a bigger section, but because I kept another pair of shoes on the inside, sort of removed some volume out of this. But otherwise you can fit a lot more stuff in here. And when I transitioned, um, you know, did the workouts and some other things, this for me on this trip particularly just became the dirty laundry bin um, at the bottom of the bag. So there you go. That's how this thing is laid out. I just love the accessibility of all the things on the go. I like the, f the fact that I get to where I'm going. I sit it here. I just get things out from the top. I don't have to open up and get the whole bag exploded and detonated. 
I know where everything is. I can get to it. It's pretty simple organization style. So yeah, this is it, man. Super comfortable. Wore this around uh, when I was out there and the, the harness system is great. 28 liters, good for probably long weekend, four days or longer, depending on how you packed. You know, you can go merino wool stuff that makes it totally, you can extend your range and reduce your volume of packing if you just think smartly about this stuff. But on the go, love this thing. Looking forward to taking more trips with the SEG 28 from Matador. I've had a lot of, a, a, I have a couple things from Matador. Their travel backpacks, packable backpacks that I haven't really shown you too much yet um, that I really do love. And so I was really happy to see the SEG 28. Um, I might go Globe Rider 45 for another test in the future, but really love it. SEG 28, check it out from Matador. Link in the description for all these things, including these Telesyn things, which I've been really impressed with. The ability to charge and, you know, just it brought me back to the GoPro off of the DJI Action 3. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. We're going to get out and go do some adventuring with the Seg 28. Not really. We're going to get outside and try to do some other stuff for the weekend because it's awesome where we are. Hopefully it's nice where you are. See you in the next video.